go back. You've also got uh, foods that you can eat to help you. Uh, here is a list of foods you, you uh, can eat and will help boost your immune system. Grapefruit, oranges, tangerines, lemons, limes, uh, clementines, red bell peppers, broccoli, it's very high in vitamin C, garlic, ginger, uh, spinach, yogurt, almonds, turmeric, and turmeric is also anti-cancer. Green tea, papaya, kiwi, chicken, turkey, and shellfish. And that is where a couple of weeks ago in the, in the first or the fourth, third or fourth, we were talking about food and I couldn't find it, remember? Yeah. Oh, was it this that you were talking about? Yes. Yeah. Okay, now yeah. we're going to do the healing spells. Choose a ye yellow candle. Place the tarot of the chariot. This like I was talking to you last week. The car needs petrol. So the yeah. stomach, yeah, it's coming back again. Where you can see it and hold the crystal of your choice. Well, that would be selenite for me. Sit face north, no one can face the middle. Sit in a way that you are comfortable. In a dish of your liking, place the base oil of extra virgin olive oil. Add myrrh, frankincense oil for overall protection. Crush the angelic chamomile, camphre, verbena and ginger. Mix it into your oil and rub it all over the candle. And like we said last week, if you want something to come towards you, you have to rub it up and something away downwards. But all yeah. to double check, I will have to use this book again by Marla Brooks. And not up and down because then it goes haywire. Yeah. If, you, you, if you don't have all these herbs, don't stress about it. Um, Use can what I you mention something about one of the oils? Yeah. Um, with frankincense, when you're using that, when it's neat, be careful because it can be a skin irritant. So do be careful when you're using frankincense with how much you use. And make sure that it's diluted properly before it comes into contact with your skin. So it's wise to wear gloves. And that's yeah. what Tracy said as well when she was working with the scent in, in the candles. Uh, it's better to wear gloves. Um, because it will stay on and also on surfaces for hours, yeah. if not days on end. Well, it's, I get that the same with patchouli. I can, uh, if I burn it in my oil burner, I can smell it for three days. Yeah, it's a very pungent kind of smell patchouli. Yeah, isn't and it? it is, I put water in it and then I put two drops in it. And then when I come in, I can still smell the patchouli and on my fingers. Yeah. Thanks yeah, for re refreshing uh, my mind for that. That's OK. If you don't have all any of these herbs, don't stress. Use what you have and, and you easily can get. If you want to set a magical protection barrier in place and call in the elements, now would be the time. Breathe slowly in and out, clear your mind and call forth calm. Don't let anything interrupt you. Light your candle and let's begin. And then you start doing like we did last time, visualizing and kneeing your stomach and your spleen. I'm not going into that again because it's too much time and some episodes are long. Yeah, that's okay. Um, how is it reacting? If bubbly or rumbly, you need to calm it down. If sluggish, you need to give it some more energy. OK, um, so this is uh, the same re repetitive exercise that she did for the liver and the spleen, uh, the liver and the gallbladder. Uh, I'm not going into it again. One, the people need to get the book if they want to do this. Yeah, of course. And at the end, you have to look, uh, come back to yourself very slowly and uh, uh, Otherwise, you might, you know, it's like meditation. When you sit with your eyes closed, you have to come back, concentrate on your breathing yeah. and then open your eyes and because you're coming from the dark into the light again. And then, whoa. It can be quite disorientating, <laughs> can't it? Yeah. 
<laughs> After you've completed your visualization, let the candle burn all the way down. Personally, I put any leftover magics in my burning box collection for the next lith litha. Okay. Note, after I'm finished with this meditation, I always drink a cup of dandelion tea. It makes my bowel movement ridding of my, or me of toxins, my body of toxins. And time to cook and make you well. And that's a magical food spell. Natural foods go in this spell, stir clockwise, and you'll see your pain will ease naturally. And that's what you can say as well when you're cooking or making a cup of tea, stirring clockwise. Yeah. So that's a nice small saying. Um, and then next time we are going to do the kidneys and the urinary. Okay. Now, we were talking about ginger tea, so I would just like to mention in now we've also got ginger tea. Um, slices of fresh ginger root, squeeze of fresh lemon, one teaspoon bra break Brax apple cider vinegar. Well, it sounds very sour. <laughs> uh, cider vinegar is quite sweet. I like apple vinegar, because, um, but I still find I still find it sour in tea okay yeah, it, the, the 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 sort of sting comes up like lemon in hot water with honey you yeah. still have that sour taste but i, I like, like it. i like i like <laughs> vinegar chips and vinegar yeah and um, uh, vinegar in my french salad dressing and um sip a small cup of this every day of the week and your stomach and spleen will start to feel happier. And then we've got magical dessert, pumpkin pie, pineapple slices. Uh, eat either with a whole or half grapefruit every night before bed, oranges, peaches and watermelon. So that will make you fat. <laughs> I know, but pumpkin pie, it's so good. How could you not? <laughs> Well, I've got something in store for you. <laughs> On the 22nd, I will be making a pumpkin soup. Brilliant. I can't wait. Yeah, well, you can, I wish you were here to join me to eat it. Yeah. Well, I'll follow your recipe and make okay. my own. I've still got some pumpkin um, like flesh left from last year that I didn't use because I made pumpkin pie last year. Did you put it in the freezer? Yes, in the freezer. Okay. So it'll, it'll be okay. <laughs> okay, well, I thought, how can, doesn't it go fungi? Okay, what we were going to talk uh, about. Hopefully it'll oh, be okay. If not, I'll go and get a fresh one. Well, that is the surprise that I'm going to do next week. And what I just want to come back is a brilliant, uh, is she, she's a Wiccan too, but she calls her a witch. Uh, I saw her making her shadow book and just coming back on the shadow book. It's also known, like you said, grimoire or the, the, the grimoire book, but it comes from grey mare and that is French for handwritten. And and it also means putting down uh, spells and charms and definitions and evoke uh, entities um, and to evoke uh, entities like angels or your own entities, your goddesses or gods. And that comes originally, um, the grimoire book comes originally from Mesopotamia. And um, I also uh, said I would do my research because I was talking about a man that was married to a lady and they got divorced and she started her own coven. Well, that man was Gerald Brazog, gardener. And um, there's three ways of teaching uh, of teachings of the Wiccans and pagans. You've you've got the the three schools. I forgot the first one. The one the second one is the witchcraft is real uh, to do with Satan. And then the second the third one 
is the the school of headed by Margaret Murray, and she was more with natural herbs and healings and things like that. And um, there is also a beautiful word which I didn't know. It's called the vulva, and the vulva is also like the opening of the woman's sacral place, and in some languages, um, like the vagina, vulva, and um, this also means the beginning. And but the vulva was used uh, the words as the it means the carrier, wand carrier. Wow, I didn't know that. So that's a bit of history. Yeah. And the, the school of uh, Margaret Murray uh, is uh, uh, is a school of thought, witchcraft simply like remains of the old pagan religion of the Western Europe. And that's the bit of history that I got from YouTube. You can actually find it. And um, I might leave it be underneath the video so you can read it for yourself. It's really fascinating. And also of that beautiful little uh, witch, uh, she calls herself the Garden Witch or the Green Witch. That's the, the the name of the channel, Green Witch. Or she's got two, the Green Witch and the Daughter of the Old. And she made, this week she made blackberry jam. Oh, lovely. And she <laughs> she's, she's got lovely recipes. And she also leaves the recipes in the description box. And uh, she's also somebody that's got a heart condition or something. And she's called Annie, I think. And uh, she had a, a block on her chest and she, ex she explained, sorry, this is not just an amulet or anything like that. Um, it is, so she explained it. And she leaves also a link in her description to explain all that. So it seems that a lot of people are coming out of the regular medicine to get to join the two forces together and to be more conscious of their bodies and what they're eating and their health. Okay. And so she's also going back to her grandmother's recipes. Like I said last week, it's like the old fashioned way of life, solidarity and pulling together. Um, I know you don't cast spells for other people because you find it very personal. Uh, I do as well, but um, I have people come to me and say, do you do spells? And I say no, but I know you can find people that do spells for others and that's their living. Um, like I, like we also di have discussed um, in the bygone episodes, uh, everything you do, nothing is wrong, nothing is right, but it is... Um, Marla Brooks says, uh, with so many rituals uh, to prepare for spells and objects to see them through, one thing to remember is that a spell is simply a wish and will work equally well without all the bells and whistles. Simply sit down in a quiet spot, concentrate on your wish and, your and with strong intentions, sending it out to the ether, the cosmos. And using your binding statement can very often yield good results. And then uh, on another page, there was also uh, the thing, uh, what you have, to, what you close the spells off is after you've done your spell, you say, so mote it be. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm not going to go too deep into that because otherwise we're getting too personal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not but, a problem. Uh, we did discuss this before we started taping and uh, I, re I can understand, I relate to you. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say too much, but yeah, yeah well, you know, it's a very individual process. So yeah, yeah. That's that's why I don't really do them for other people because I think I, that it's it's down to each individual to put our own energy and intent into it. 
Yeah, I agree with you there um, because I think like the affirmations or incantations you can also use in meditation because that's when you are at peace and that's when your intention is the strongest, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I think people should realize it, that they have the strength, they're stronger than they think they are. Yeah, our, our power is all within us. We don't have to look to someone else externally, really, for anything. And I just want to, uh, all, the one thing I want to say is, watch out for charlatans because there's a lot of people out there that are not working from a pure heart they're just doing it commercially that's what i wanted to say yeah always practice discernment when picking out someone for anything and it doesn't matter whether it's you, whether you want a plumber or a lawyer test them out yeah. and ask them whether they are a member of a professional body protect yourself in everything you can yeah Okay, so you were going to do the free, uh, to free your mind spell. Yes, I am. So, I shall read it through for you. Okay, thank you. So what it includes and the, the, the things that are needed for it as well. So, there are times in our lives when there's just too much going on and we can't think straight. This spell was created to help shake off the mental cobwebs and point you in the right direction. Which is why I've picked this one out. <laughs> OK, so I'm, I'm in need of this at the moment. Everything's swimming because there's so much going on. Well, it is so. true. Everything is going on with Covid. Yeah. Second lockdown in London or England. Yeah, they're, they're considering it. Nothing's fully confirmed yet as to what's happening. OK, moment in time. But um, yeah, so we will see. It's a waiting game at the moment. Okay. Um, but for this one, you will need a blue candle, one blue candle, and then you have a choice between myrrh, sandalwood or clary sage oil. Um, so you can either use a combination of two or three of them, depending on what you have available, or you can just use the one. Um, and then you anoint the candle with the oil and then take three cleaning breaths. Oh, there might be cleansing, no cleaning, cleansing breaths and repeat the following. It's the words broken up over the page. Um, cleansing breaths to repeat the following incantation. God and goddess, hear me now. Let my mind be free of worries, troubles, strife and fear. This I ask of thee. Please clear my head of negative thoughts and bring me insight clear on ways to go about my life to successfully persevere. So might it be. And then you let the candle burn itself out. But she says also uh, in some spells and in the right in the front of the book, if you haven't got time, then the uh, candle that is left over, she puts it into a candle box for the next. Yeah. Well, next time. And quite often when you do a candle spell, when you burn it down to the bottom, you've still got all the melted wax left over from the candle. So you can kind of scoop that up and put that in in the box ready for litter. OK. OK, you'll have to make a new candle out of it, I suppose. Of all the candle wax. You can, but generally I don't because then you've got the energy of the previous spells. Uh huh. <clears throat> so it's OK if you're if you do one particular spell on a regular basis, say if it was this one, then you collect the the wax from those candles that you've used for this spell to then make a new one. So that you're enhancing the energy. OK. For that particular one intent. But if you put candles together from lots of different spells, You've got different energies, different intents, and it all gets a little bit muddled. Yeah. What do you do with the leftovers then? Normally, I personally bury them. Aha. Uh -huh. OK. Because I'm then giving it back to the Earth, to Mother Earth, to bring to fruition for me. So it's better to use wow. 
um, environmental friendly candles instead of paraffin and things like that, like coconut yeah. oil, it's better to use it in seed, seed something, aniseed or something. Um, Tracy was talking about some kind of seed oil with coconut oil. Oh, okay. So um, there's, she said that I know of 10 sorts that are environmental free without paraffin and this, that and the other. Well, you learned a lot because if you um, have water in a candle, then it can spark things off and then it's a fire as I, I didn't yeah. know that. We learned a lot from Tracy. That's brilliant. Yeah. So Sounds thank you for that. Yeah, have a look at it if you haven't yeah, seen it yet. Um, so thank you very much for that. Sorry? And have you got any stone that you might uh, want to associate or gemstone you might want to uh, associate with this? Would you choose a, a, a gemstone uh, that would they, calm yourself? I'm thinking about it now. I'm being drawn to use amethyst. Amethyst. Because that's, that's really good for anxiety and calming. Yeah. And yeah. rose quartz is one. But yeah. am amethyst is good for migraines and headaches. Yeah. And this is all to do with your thought process as well. So it's going to be linked with your mind. Yeah. Thank you. That's OK. OK. Now I'm going to get my stuff ready. Yeah. Um, I've got uh, which uh, spell motivation. So I'm going to do the motivation spell. Uh, which page uh, do you want on? Um, 75. And oh, you will. And I'm using tarot. So I'm going to turn my camera down. Okay. So you won't see me. So this is not a reading. This is the suggested cards um that that uh is in the book that you can use um motivation no matter how exciting your job may be sometimes you just get lazy and fall into a rut this terror spell should do the trick to get you back on track you will need you will need the following tarot cards the ace of wands that's new beginnings for work I'll just add the meanings to them. Yeah. So uh, yeah. this should get you into action, being creative, um, go for what you want. Um, also logically, because the uh, ones stand for logic as well. They think about things before they go into action, but slightly better than the swords because they go <laughs> without <laughs> sometimes without thinking and they go in. And then we've got the temperance. So these are all the fire signs, but I'm leaving the fire signs out. This is temperance to get balance. Um, either mentally between head and mind, uh, mind, uh, mind and heart or heart and mind or heart and your higher spiritual self. Perhaps also to do with chakras, clearing the chakras. And then you've got the eight of pentacles and that re represents work. So this is the energy, this is the discipline, and this represents work. And the Eight of Pentacles also means recognition at work. Perhaps you might be lacking the pat on the shoulder or thank you at work, and that might demotivate you. And that's why I thought I'll go for this. You will also need a vanilla essence. Now, I don't know whether I've got vanilla essence, but um, you most probably already saw it standing there. I've got this large, large box with the joysticks on it, but you've also got the joystick. And I'll go back down again. The joystick on a little plank so you can have it uh, very small and it's got a hole in it and you just poke it through and then you light it and I will light it because I always believe that a joystick clears the air. Now Wendy said you can't blow it out, you must uh, uh, turn it round 
and so it also purifies the air. And I've got my vanilla stick underneath here, so the energy of the vanilla is still there because that is what I have in the house and you usually can do things like this in the house. Okay, so we've got the joystick and vanilla. Lay the cards out before you, light the stick of vanilla, incense and recite the following incantation. And vanilla is also very calming and soothing and persuasive because when you sell a house, they say bake an apple cake and it's always got cinnamon and vanilla in it. Yeah. Take away this sluggish streak and reinforce the strength I seek to return to work with the utmost ability and bring about a new sense of mobility. So mote it be. Let the incense burn out completely. There we go. So mote it be. And I've got my selenite here that purifies. So that is the spell. Uh, that is as simple as it can be. I've got my selenite here and in my book um, because I've got something else to add on to it. And you must probably see the smoke going here. It's not me smoking. <laughs> <laughs> and selenite, selenite is also a purifier uh, for uh, mechanical things like the car or the computer or the telephone or the camera. So I've got two of them lying here and they were both given to me and they don't need to be cleaned. They clean other stones, gemstones. Selenite never needs to be cleansed or grounded. Balances and aligns chakras, recorder stones for past history and past lives. So it also records the memories of past, uh, the stones that you, that it lies with. So it records them and it pure, neutralizes them. Yeah. So that's beautiful. Okay. Now, I will go to vanilla oil so that everybody will know what the vanilla is. Stimulate ar um, amorous appetites, restore loss of energy, jogs memory. So that was amazing. I really feel already sort of calm. It's because I suppose I'm working with you again and I enjoy working with you. Now, I've got other things to show you, uh, not my spells or anything like that, but also because we are working with our health. My, uh, my sister used to live in Can Canada and it, Canada is really a vast country and people can't run to the doctor because they live in the mountains and from everywhere from nowhere. And this is the book. So if you are interested in homeopathy, or uh, herbal stuff, then go for this book. I don't know whether you can s see it. It's yeah. called the Prescription for nu uh, Nutritional Healing, third edition. Practical A to Z references to drug-free remedies using vitamins, minerals, herbs, and food supplements by Phyllis A. Belch uh, and James, James F. B A L C H M D, and it cost it, it cost in the oh, USA twenty three ninety five, Canada thirty six, but that is about twenty years ago. <laughs> I don't know whether it's still in print, but it really you can work with herbs from it and make your own uh, medicine. And then my other Bibles, I because I'm using tarot, the Relationship Bible. The secret language of birthdays. Okay. That looks interesting. Uh, and that is by um, Gary Goldscheider and Joost Elfers. And, it, and I've also got, this is for relationships and this is for birthdays. And I use this to do my astrology uh, among, this is 
this is what I used to do my astrology uh, an analytics with partly. So a um, couple of days work, mm -hmm. but yeah. I just like to show my other side. Yeah, that's brilliant. That's um, how I got into astrology because my father was a captain and I didn't couldn't do astronomy. So I, I got into astrology and Linda Goodman, of course. Those are the, these are my Bibles. Yeah. That's brilliant. <laughs> Beside the real one. Anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed that little bit of useless information. No, it's really interesting. I'm, um, I might look close up actually. Well, if you've got any interesting books to share with us, uh, let us know. Will do. I'll, um, I'll find a couple out and um, show them to you next time. OK, great. Uh, and that's how you get together with people. You know, you don't have to stay alone. You can go cyber. Yeah, I've got a parrot. <laughs> I don't Aww. have a dog. I don't have a dog. I've got a parrot. Oh, Millie, You're so sweet. She is sweet. Anyway, <laughs> uh, she's just as nutty as her mother. Anyway, thank you very much again for this uh, beautiful interlude an episode and oh, I, I hope been a pleasure and I know you're going on I think it might be next week but I don't know when this episode is coming out um, I think it's on the 13th you'll be on holiday so I hope you have a beautiful holiday sure. and uh, come home safely and healthy well Jay I'll see you soon <laughs> okay take care god bless ciao ciao Bye.